Meta nerds, Google just released Gemini, which is a competitor to ChatGPT. And apparently one of the videos that they demoed it may have been faked. Let's check it out. All right, testing Gemini. Here we go. Tell me what you see. I see you placing a piece of paper on the table. I see a squiggly line. What about now? The contour lines are smooth and flowing with no sharp angles or jagged edges. It looks like a bird to me. So Devin at TechCrunch released this article, which a lot of the things that I'll be providing this video are from this article. Problem is that video was created after prompting Gemini and generating all those responses. Specifically, as Parmi also noted, it was not carried out in real time or in voice. The model was shown still images from video footage and human prompts narrated afterwards per a spokesperson. And if we go back to that video and looked inside the description, they do have a link to where they say and show an example of the prompting that it provided. So they're not straight out lying about it, but they're not exactly being clear. So let's look at a few examples that Devin called out. I know what you're doing. You're playing rock, paper, scissors. The actual prompt provided was of three still images, one of a paper, rock, and scissors, and then prompted it, what do you think I'm doing? Hint, it's a game. Gemini then responded, you're playing rock, paper, scissors. And they quoted the model as saying, I know what you're doing, you're playing rock, paper, scissors. Which with this title of hands on with Gemini, leads you to believe that they're interacting with this model in real time as they're displaying all this. The other example Devin brought up was regarding this one and the solar system. Is this the right order? No, the correct order is Sun, Earth, Saturn. So really, they not only prompted it, is this the right order? They also had to add, consider the distance from the sun and explain your reasoning. And then Gemini responded, no, the correct order is sun, earth, Saturn. This clip in general made me feel like Gemini was very conversational, like you're talking to a friend. And now reading it, you can actually see that more of talking to a chatbot. And the last example is this one. You are trying to get me to find the paper ball under the cup. I accept the challenge. The cup to the left. Nice. So that one was just blatantly misleading because it made it sound like Gemini actually predicted what game it was trying to get it to play. So instead they actually had to prompt it explaining the game. And then from there it provided still images, not in real time, of each of the different movements. And then finally at the end it says, hey, tell me where the ball is and summarize how it got there. I don't know. Of all the different examples they showed, that one was the cringiest as not only did Gemini not actually guess what the game was, but they also weren't able to actually play it in a real-time manner as shown. Now, one of the VPs at DeepMind, the subsidiary behind Google that developed Gemini, released this yesterday after that video. And he went on to clarify that we gave Gemini a sequence of different modalities, images, and text in this case. And he added this damning statement, the video illustrates what the multimodal user experience built with Gemini could look like. I'm not gonna lie, I think Google kind of <laughs> up in this case. And specifically, although they have this disclaimer at the beginning, it's not exactly clear. Like even me watching this the first time and that has understanding of large language models, thought that this was some sort of demonstration in real time that they were actually able to put together. Now, the other major issue that some of my subscribers have pointed out is that they, a lot of the demonstrations that they showed the other day was using the Ultra model. And this model is not gonna be available until early next year. As they put it, we're currently completing extensive trust and safety checks, including red teaming by trusted external parties and further refining the model using fine tuning and reinforcement learning from human feedback. Which is great and all that they're doing all these checks, but in this example here where they were going over competitive programming, they mentioned how it was actually a problem with scaling using Gemini Ultra for actual real world applications. So I think there's a lot more going behind the scenes with this. Anyway, as always, got value out of this video, smash that like button with that. I'll see you in the next one.